all right what is going on everyone first and foremost i want to say thank you for being here right now watching this video i do really appreciate it for your time and i'd really appreciate if you do consider subscribing because it truly does help me out a lot now we got why are rappers so afraid of little dirk man is it his scary eyes or you know is, is it something else man but this video explains it all I'm gonna play it short after shortly after this right but like man we all know little dirk is from old block and you know he lives that kind of lifestyle you get what i mean he lives that kind of lifestyle he has a lot of affiliates um otf and things like that man so but without further ado let's just play the video see what it's talking about Lil Durk is one of the most intelligent and calculative rappers, always moving low key and surprising the world with his antics. I forget, in the never run a room. Because if you ask a motherfucker, what did you do? What did he do to Vaughn? Nothing. Okay. He has employed a doppelganger to interact with his fans scared his ops through songs and continues to terrorize people who think they can talk down on his friends. But why do people fear him so much? Is there more to Lil Durk than people see? Lil Durk was a pioneer of drill rap, one of the most popular forms of music that came out of Chicago. Growing up in the south side of Chicago exposed him to a lot of gun violence, death, and thuggery. His father was jailed when Durk was still a youngin, and his mom was always busy with work as a nurse. So he didn't have a lot of parental guidance. It was so bad that he would stay out until 5 a.m. as a fifth grader. Staying out so late showed him a side of Chicago that we only see in the news. Dirk eventually dropped out of high school and joined the Black Disciples, one of the most dangerous gangs in Chicago and the whole of America. This was when he started to get deep into the streets. After becoming popular by uploading his songs on MySpace and YouTube, Lil Durk's gang affiliation came into the limelight and people started watching his every move. Durk and his friend King Vaughn were both members of the Black Disciples. The Black Disciples was created by David Barksdale in 1965 and Vaughn referred to him as his granddaddy. Vaughn respected David so much, even if he may not have known him personally. And this made people avoid Lil Durk, which is a no-brainer. Since Vaughn was considered dangerous, it only made sense for people to avoid his close pal. I'm not gonna lie, King Vaughn was actually a demon, bro. You get what I mean? And it's documented. There's no need for me to even explain why. It's documented. People already know, bro. If he, uh, bro, if just everybody already knows, right? If he didn't pass away, he would either be in jail. You get what I mean? He would be in jail, bro. Because they they got a whole case on him they got everything documented like he's been he's done a lot of things man and you know he has a few bodies let's just say that bro so i don't blame him bro me personally i wouldn't want to be i wouldn't want to be one of king vaughn's ops bro while he was alive that's all i'm saying but let's keep going al dirk however lil dirk wasn't feared because of his relationship with king vaughn Things really got grim in 2011 after a member of the Gangster Disciples, another notorious gang, died. Tuka was 15 years old when he was shot and killed at a Chicago bus stop on 12th of January 2011. He was a beloved member of the SBL EBT gang and the area got named after him, Tukaville. Now Lil Durk wasn't the masked shooter that killed Tuka, but he taunted the dead teenager in most of his songs by saying, Smoking that Tuka pack. It was a reference to how Tuka was killed and an insult to the gangster disciples. Some of the. It's kind of crazy to me that King Vaughn, I mean, Lil Durk wasn't the one to actually, you know, be involved in Tuka's murder, but he, yet he's still the one to say he's smoking Tuka, but gets mad when NBA Youngboy says F, F King Vaughn or smoking King Vaughn when Youngboy really didn't, you know. He, he, Young, NBA Youngboy wasn't really involved in King Vaughn's murder, but you get what I mean? He was one of King Vaughn's ops, though. He was one of um, King Vaughn's ops, though, right? You get what I mean? And NBA Youngboy didn't like King Vaughn. So, of course, he's going to say smoke King Vaughn, things like that, because the people around him don't mess with King Vaughn and, you know, weren't involved in the murder. But, like, bro, you're going to say smoke it too, bro. You weren't even involved. Like, it's so weird, but let's keep going. 
Helpers from the gang tried to diss Dirk, but they always missed. A short while after Tuka's death, Lil Dirk dissed Lil Jojo, another member of the Gangster Disciples. In his song L's Anthem, he dissed Jojo, even if nobody knew why they had beef. In response to Dirk's song, Jojo released BDK and called out many Black Disciples members including Lil Dirk, Lil Reese, and Chief Keef. In essence, the song was chaotic and got Lil Jojo more trouble than he bargained for. Shortly after releasing BDK, Jojo was shot and killed. Hip-hop fans believed Dirk had ordered the hit on Lil Jojo, but their attention was soon shifted after Chief Keef threw jabs at the late Lil Jojo on Twitter. The police started investigating Chief Keef for the murder of Lil Jojo while Lil Dirk continued to diss him. But Lil Jojo's death was just the beginning of the fear of Lil Dirk in the industry. When the rapper lost his cousin OTF Nunu in 2014, he went quiet for a while. The death had hit him in a hard way, and he was struggling to process everything that happened. During his period of grief, Mubu Crump, a member of the Black Disciples, decided it was a great time to throw jabs at Nunu and DJ Bands, Lil Dirk's DJ. It seemed like Crump wanted to trigger Dirk by all means possible, and he did. Some hours after tweeting about Dirk's cousin, Mubu Crump was killed in a driveway. Well, not to be a conspiracy theorist or anything, but isn't it strange that Mubu got shot right after dissing Dirk's family? Then to make it worse, Lil Dirk rapped about it in his song Back in Blood, where he said, You can't come back to your hood, huh? He was dissing on my cousin, now is ah, uh, all in that wood, huh? It was an obvious shot at Crump, and it didn't take long for fans to put clues together and conclude that Dirk was his killer. Lil Dirk was never convicted for the case, but rumors of his involvement in the crime continued to fly around. He didn't seem to mind as the reputation helped him soar in the rap community as a feared gangster. Now with everything that was going on around Dirk, only an unwise person would think to themselves, I should probably pile on Lil Dirk, hopefully it gets me famous. These weren't FBG Duck's exact thoughts, but I can imagine what was going through his mind when he dissed Lil Dirk in his song called Dead Bees. FBG Duck was part of the ongoing war between the Black Disciples and Gangster Disciples, so he wanted to give his opinion on the issue. He then dissed the dead members of the Black Disciples, a very unwise thing to do. Didn't he learn from the story of Mubu Crump and Lil Jojo? He had seen his fellow gang members get shot for doing the exact same thing. Why did he think he would get away with it? Whatever protection FBG Duck thought he had, he lost it as he got killed shortly after releasing the diss track. Was Lil Dirk the mastermind behind the killings? Well, we may never know. But he was quick to rap about it in his song, Should Have Ducked. In the song he said, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people are involved in King Vaughn and Lil Durk and FBG Duck's murder. And a lot of people do respect FBG Duck and want FGB Duck to the whole case to be um, justified and things like that. So, I don't know, man, but, you know, he... he anytime there's, like, a case or anything, it's just like, you know, King Vaughn or Lil Durk gets, gets name gets involved in it. And it's just kind of weird, you get what I mean? Because you never actually know. But that's all I'm saying, but let's keep going. She asked, how high do I get? High as duck. It was a reference to FBG Duck getting killed and going high into the heavens, maybe. Lil Durk has always been disrespectful to rappers from the rival gang, especially after their deaths, which is one of the lowest forms of blows you can ever deal to a gang. <laughs> In 2022, a Lil Durk look-alike surfaced on the internet. His name was Schmerkio, and he made videos of himself in expensive clothing, getting escorted by bouncers. At some point, Lil Durk's fans were so convinced that they were related in some way due to the resemblance. Eventually, Lil Durk caught on to Schmerkio's antics and started working with him. Dirk put him up in his music video block list and invited him on stage during one of his concerts. Schmerkio was getting fame just by being associated with Lil Durk. The rapper employed him to go to certain places in his stead and everything was going smoothly, until fans started to ask questions. They started wondering why Lil Durk was so invested in Schmerkio. Normally, when celebrities notice someone who's using their identity to get fame, they would make a few posts about the rave and let things be. But Lil Durk was keeping Schmerkio way too close and it was concerning. Then, a theory was introduced. Dirk's fans believed that he was keeping his lookalike around to protect himself. Since the rapper had a lot of ops, 
It was likely that he was keeping Shmerkyo around so he could easily escape in the face of danger. And this take wasn't all that outrageous. Other rappers look-alike had gotten killed like NCCA. I'm not gonna lie, um, ever since and the little Dirk's lookalike got pressed by 6 9 man. We all know that viral, viral clip and whatnot. Pressed by 6 9 Lil Dirk never messed with him again. You get what I mean? Ever. And it's not like, oh, Lil Dirk found a new, new lookalike and, you know, used him as protection. And it's just like, no, that, that theory is completely out the window. Maybe Lil Dirk wanted to give the kid an opportunity. You get what I mean? But... Yeah, man. Let's keep going, though. Young boy, who looked like NBA young boy. He was found dead in the woods, and people believed it was because he was mistaken for the original rapper. While that's a vague reason, it seemed reasonable at the time. So if Schmerkio could start moving more with Dirk, he could easily be mistaken for the rapper and get killed in his stead. Maybe it wasn't his escape plan, but it could have been a way to protect himself. But for someone as scary as Lil Dirk, could there be anybody that scares him? In 2021, a video of him and Lil Baby surfaced online. They were shooting a video and Dirk was sitting inside a convertible. As Lil Baby hopped in the car, Dirk looked scared and was fidgeting with something that was unidentified. It sparked rumors that maybe the great Dirk was afraid of Lil Baby. However, it was at the height of King Von's death and the OTF crew weren't supposed to be outside. They were susceptible to getting shot at any time, and Lil Dirk was seated in a car with an open roof, so anything could go wrong at the time. Lil Dirk tried to play off the rumors by claiming he was exhausted, but fans didn't believe him. If Lil Dirk is actually scared of anyone, would he... I don't know, man. He's just probably afraid of dying. You get what I mean? Going out like King Von, that's all he's saying. You get what I mean? It's only him in a very public, popular area, in a Corvette, and you know he it's popping bro it's, it's popping it's you if you walk if you walk anywhere near him you can say you can literally see clearly that it's little baby and little dirk you get what i mean like there's no bodyguards i think nothing bro you get what i mean he's basically lacking so at the end of the day i can't blame him bro you get what i mean because uh, uh, i don't know man but without further ado i'm gonna end the video here let me know what you guys think and peace out man